Hello everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I have a new smartphone from China called the HomeTom HT16. This phone costed $49 when I got it, so very very cheap. For $49 we do get a 5 inch display with a resolution of 720p. We have a 3000 milliamp uh, battery, 8 gigs of internal storage, 1 gig of uh, RAM and the MediaTek 6580 processor. So really good specs for $49. It comes in this box, on the front we just see a picture of the phone, onto this side uh, from the side. Here's some specifications about it and that's about it for the box. So let's go ahead and uh, open this. So I have the phone right here, it does uh, feel really nice. So let's see what we get in the box. So we do have a micro USB cable, like any other micro USB cable, nothing special. Now the charger, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a fast charger, I highly doubt it, but let's see if we can read this. So it's a one amp charger. I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a very slow charger with a 3000 milliamp battery. It's gonna take a while to actually charge that. And the manual, it's in English. We don't have any pictures and no information, really just some safety information. So that's about it for the box. Let's see the phone. $49, I can't believe how cheap this uh, phone is. So the back looks different uh, than most phones. Uh, it is made out of plastic. It doesn't feel that cheap. At the bottom here we do have the speaker, um, here the brand which is a uh, home top. That's a 8 megapixel camera which is in fact a 5 megapixel sensor uh, interpolated to 8. That's the flash right there. On top here um, we just see the 3.5mm audio jack, the charging port, the buttons, the volume button and the power uh, button. It's also, they're also made out of uh, plastic. On to the bottom here, um, again, we have a microphone, uh, nothing else, and yes, uh, all this is made out of plastic. So on to the front of the phone, so I'll remove this uh, screen protector. The buttons at the bottom here uh, don't uh, look like they light up. We do have a camera there, that's a 2 megapixel uh, sensor, we have the speaker and uh, what seems to be like the proximity and the light sensor. And the phone does come pre-installed with a screen protector, which I'm gonna remove, just because I can't uh, stand how uh, screen protectors feel. So no more uh, screen protector. The resolution should be 720p. Let's go ahead and remove this back cover. So the back cover... Oh, so even like uh, that frame that looks like the frame uh, comes off. So everything comes off, not only the, the back cover. So, that's how the phone actually looks, so that frame is not actually the frame, it's the back, uh, back cover, so nothing special about the back cover here. The 3000 milliamp uh, battery, so we do have a sticker on it that you're gonna have to remove uh, if you want this uh, to work. Okay, we'll leave that aside, and this phone takes two SIM cards and an SD card, and it does look like two micro sim cards so no not nano sim cards even though this could be but no it looks uh, way too too big so yeah two micro uh, sim cards so that's about it let's put the battery back on let's put this uh, back cover and let's turn this on and see if it's got any battery oh, and it does have some battery and we see their uh, brand name right there And it's probably gonna take a bit uh, till it starts up. This phone also has uh, Android 6, so even though it only has 8 gigs of internal storage, you can just uh, put an SD card and uh, increase the storage space. That was the boot up animation. And we're on. So let's uh, go through the setup here. So we'll skip the SIM cards. We'll connect to the Wi Fi. I can already tell you that the phone. Uh, can only see the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi networks, so we don't have um, dual band Wi-Fi on it. Okay, so we don't want to copy any accounts. We'll start from scratch. And let me enter my uh, Gmail uh, account here. 
and after I've uh, entered the password so we'll uh, press next we don't want to set up any payment info and it should start up uh, very soon we will skip this not now next next let's uh, skip that so we don't want to protect the phone skip anyway we don't want to do that either also oh, i guess i pressed uh, restore so um, after it restores um, whatever uh, i will be back and it didn't take that long and uh, the phone started so first of all the screen so it doesn't have uh, that bad uh, viewing angles i mean it's not the best uh, screen ever but uh, for the 49 dollar price uh, i think the screen looks uh, fairly good even the colors look uh, rather good i'm curious to see how the sensitivity will be in the long run so um, it does look very close to Android, not, uh, not that much uh, stuff on it. If we keep this button pressed, uh, we are just going to see whatever uh, recent apps we have. With this one, we can choose uh, wallpaper. So very close to stock Android. Let's go into settings here and uh, see if we see anything uh, interesting. I wonder what this uh, magic thumb is. Let's see. Random. I have no idea what this is. So let's try this. So I'm not sure what uh, that does. Multitasking window. Let's turn that on and see what that is. Oh, so I know what this is. So whenever you touch the screen, you get uh, these little hearts. So we definitely want to turn that off. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So that magic, uh, that float window, it's right here. So I guess uh, let's move this on oh, here. So you can choose any of these. Oh, that's a pretty cool thing actually. Let me turn the brightness down a bit just um, so you can see this better onto the camera. So yeah, this uh, floating window here, you can basically choose some apps and uh, basically opens apps much faster. We might have a back button, calculator, the home. So this should take us to the home screen. So pretty pretty cool i guess i'm not sure if i'm actually gonna ever use it but um, a cool uh, cool feature for such a cheap device let's see what else we have here so for storage and usb we have used no, i don't believe that's uh, right we probably only have about 4.5 gigs left so um, i'll look more into that um, into the review video and smart awake let's see what this is Move up, unlock screen. I wonder if it has um, like double tap to wake up. No, but if I do this. Okay, it doesn't uh, register all the time from uh, what I'm seeing. But it's, uh, it's kind of too long uh, if you ask me. And it doesn't register uh, every single time it vibrates uh, whenever it does so i'm not sure if that's uh, such a cool feature okay so uh, we can turn this off and i've seen something else system body feeling smart switch flash uh, nothing too too exciting and at about phone here um, we can see the android version which is android 6 and the latest security Patch is from June 2016, so not too bad. So that's about it for the settings app, no, uh, no other things, we just uh, have that uh, turbo download. And here we even have uh, adaptive brightness, so what that does, uh, it will make the screen brighter or uh, dimmer depending on the conditions uh, in the whatever spot you are. So the camera onto the back, let's uh, see how that uh, does. So we do have a 5 megapixel uh, sensor onto the back. Takes a bit uh, to focus. Let's uh, see one of those pictures. So, uh, not the brightest picture out there. And the picture does become uh, a bit uh, grainy when you 
zoom in closer. So let's turn the camera around, to take a picture of myself. And let's uh, take a look at that picture. Well, better than I was uh, expecting, we can actually see the writing onto the camera there. So uh, for a 2 megapixel sensor, I guess uh, it's uh, good enough. Alright guys, uh, I will definitely do a full review of this uh, phone after I uh, use it for a bit so I can get a better feel for it. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.